Hello everyone. Um, so there's this initiative called Advent of Code. Uh, this year's 2019. I'm at this at their website, Advent of Code, and I, to be honest, I, I'm not really familiar with this whole action, but my friend convinced me to give it a try. There apparently there are some exercises for coding every day, um, and I started doing the first exercise from day one. At the moment when I'm recording this, there are already three days, and I think there are two exercises every day, and. To, Honestly, I don't know close to nothing about this initiative, so I don't know if those exercises are isolated from each other or not, or if it's like continuation. I Now I'm done recording this, I already finished the first part of the first exercise, so I already know that there is actually a continuation, so there is like a refining of requirements in the next exercise. Uh, each of the users, I think, they get their own input set and the goal is to calculate certain result and submit it. So I did the first one and it seems to be all right. And I just wanted to show you what's the implementation of the first approach. So even though I didn't know it will be continued, uh, my code is a little bit over engineered probably, but uh, I'm doing this in Ruby. This is my favorite language. And the way I am approached this problem was to write a, uh, simple test that's some required fuel for module. So I'm not going to read the exercise. I assume you know some basics a little about it. We are a lot, we are required to calculate fuel for uh, certain spacecraft modules. So when there is a, a module with a mass of 12, the result is 2 and the same for 14. There's a special formula to make it work. I created some domain objects to just wrap the numbers. Basically the whole result could be just a one liner, but I wanted to make some objects just to have a feel of this domain uh, and see how it works. So the result code is actually this. There is a namespace called space and there is a space module. So the thing that represents something that has a mass and has a required fuel. And then there's a fuel, probably a value object and a mass, a value object. Uh, so a mass has some amount, uh, fuel has some amount, and required fuel is uh, returning the fuel object. And this is the formula, so it could be just this one liner that could be the, the main result. Uh, so that's my result. And now I can see that in the next episode, we need to, uh, so I don't have it yet, and uh, we need to refine it so that the, we need to take it into account that because we need fuel to grab to bring some modules into space or just travel with those modules, the fuel itself, it also has a mass. Uh, and we need to take it into account so the, the new exercise will be about it. So luckily extracting some abstractions here, maybe it was some over engineering at the beginning for my side, um, but I feel like probably we can just add some new methods to fuel to calculate its mass. And then we can say that for a module we or for a spacecraft, we need the mass of the modules plus plus the mass of the fuel, and then we can get rid of the result. So that's my idea of how to approach it. So maybe it paid off that I over abstracted it at the beginning. So that's it for this. I will try to record the next exercise uh, with the fuel mass later on so we can see how it uh, evaluates. What's the evolution of this code? Thank you and see you next time.